Shane. <laughs> Uh, Solomon from everybody. Uh, Greg, oh, okay. Good, okay. Uh, Solomon from everybody. Um, I'm giving uh, a speech about being appreciative. Oh, okay. Um, what does it mean to be appreciative? Being appreciative is to feel or show gratitude or pleasure. This is the definition. Um, do you thank God? Every day do you wake up, do you thank God for all the blessings that he has given you? For example, do you thank him for putting a roof over your head for when you sleep? Do you thank him for all the food he has provided you with? Do you thank him for all the means of transportation to get around? Think of it. If we didn't have any of that, we would have to walk or walk everywhere, which would be a huge challenge. Uh, I have some Quranic examples. Um, 2152 says, You shall remember me that I remember you, and be thankful to me. Do not be unappreciative. Uh, 710 says, we have, we have established you on earth and we have provided for you the means of support therein. Rarely you are appreciative. Are you appreciative? Say, um, 6723 says, say he is the one who initiated you and granted you the hearing, the eyes, and the brains. Rarely are you appreciative. Um, Abraham 16121, uh, no, 16120 says, Abraham was indeed an exemplary, uh, Van Vanguard in his submission to God, a monotheist who never wor uh, worshipped idols. Uh, 16121 says, because he, is, he was appre appreciative of his Lord's blessings, he chose him and guided him in a straight path. It's not working. Um, some things I'm appreciative for. Uh, there are so many things to be appreciative for. For example, Food for us to eat, cars to get around, uh, health, wealth, happiness, money, beds to sleep on, water to drink, trees to get oxygen from, uh, phones, clothes, and most importantly, God's guidance and protection. Uh, I have a video. There's something you know about me something very personal and there's something I know about every one of you that's very central to your concerns. There's something that we know about everyone we meet anywhere in the world on the street that is the very mainspring of whatever they do and whatever they put up with. And that is that all of us want to be happy. In this we are all together. How we imagine our happiness, that differs from one another. But it's already a lot that we have all in common, that we want to be happy. Now, my topic is gratefulness. How is the connection between happiness and gratefulness. Many people would say, well, that's very easy. When you are happy, you are grateful. But think again. Is it really the happy people that are grateful? We all know quite a number of people who have everything that it would take to be happy, and they are not happy because they want something else, so they want more of the same. And we all know people who have lots of misfortune, misfortune that we ourselves would not want to have. And they are deeply happy. They radiate happiness. We are surprised. Why? Because they are grateful. So it is not happiness that makes us grateful. It's gratefulness that makes us happy. If okay. um, basically, what is he saying? In the video I just showed you, you might have noticed that he said gratefulness that, uh, it's gratefulness that makes us hap uh, happy, not happiness that makes us grateful. We know that happiness comes from growth of soul, 
and we are great, grateful slash appreciative of God. Uh, of God, our souls grows. Wait. Um. Therefore, it, it's being grateful that makes us happy. Um. God tells us what we will be rewarded for being appreciative. Uh. Uh. Three one forty four says Muhammad was not more. Uh, was no more than a messenger like the messengers before him. Should he die or or sh get killed, would would you turn back on your heels? Any anyone who turns back on his heels does not hurt God in the least. God rewards those who are appreciative. I highlighted that because it's kind of the main um, time of death predetermined. Three one forty five says no one dies except by God's leave at a predetermined time. Whoever seeks the van vanities of this world, we give him therefrom, and whoever seeks the rewards th uh, of the hereafter, we bless him therein. Uh, we reward those who are appreciative. Happiness now and forever. 1062. Absolutely, God's allies have nothing to fear, nor will they grieve. Um, the footnote for it, uh, 1062 through 64. Most people think that they have to wait until the day of resurrection before they receive their rewards uh, for righteousness or the retribution for the wicked, wickedness. But the Quran repeatedly assures the believers that they are guaranteed perfect happiness here in this world and now forever, now and forever. At the end of their uh, interim, interim uh, here, they go directly to paradise. See Appendix 17. Uh, 1063, the, uh, there are those who believe in lead a righteous life. 1064, for them, joy and happiness, this world as well as in the hereafter, this is God's unchangeable law, such is the greatest triumph. Uh, for the next couple of slides, I have some more uh, examples um, from the Quran. 41, uh, 30 through 32, um, Perfect happiness, happiness now and forever. Those who proclaim our Lord is God, then lead a righteous life. The angels descend upon them. You shall, you shall hear no fear, nor shall you grieve. Rejoice in the good news. The paradise has been reserved for you. Uh, 4131. We are your ally, allies in this life and in the hereafter. You will have, uh, you will have in it anything you wish for. You will have anything you want. Such is your ultimate abode from a forgiver most merciful. Uh, heaven indescribably beautiful. 3217. You have no idea how much joy and happiness are waiting for you as a reward for your righteous works. I think this is my last slide. Uh, 92, uh, five, five through seven. As for him who gives the ch to charity and mounds right and maintains right, righteousness uh, and upholds the script, uh, scripture, we will direct him towards happiness. Let's see if I have another one. Now that's it. Thank you. Are we doing questions? Shane, mashallah, great speech. I have a question. Huh. Um, in the video that you played, this guy said that Lots of people who have a lot of misfortune, but they're very happy. Uh, do you agree with that? I mean, uh, if they might, they probably don't have happiness, like true happiness. They might be happy, but they don't have true happiness because they're not in God's, you know, like they're not a submitter. So that's what I think of it, I guess. Awesome. Thank you, Shane. Good job.